Hello, my name is Ken Burton. I'm the Executive Director of the Vancouver Maritime Museum. And I was searching for a method to involve our patrons and visitors here at the museum that was innovative, that was adventurous, that was attractive to children, that would help tell a really unique maritime story. Hi, my name is Carolyn and I am part of the team here at the Center for Digital Media that recently completed a project for the Vancouver Maritime Museum. We were challenged with creating two digital artifacts for the museum that would show an interactive experience for visitors featuring the St. Rock and historic boat. Hi, my name is Eric. My role in this team was to create a story behind the experience. This was very challenging because this is not an ordinary tool to tell a story. We don't have dialogue and we don't have actors. Instead, what we created was a set of events that happened as you were driving the ship that would recreate the dangers, excitement, and beauty that the captain and the crew of the St. Rock would experience as they took their two year passage. Hi, my name is Hyun, and uh, I was the city artist of uh, Team Joe North. We decided to build a ship simulator that can be played inside a replica of St. Rock's wheelhouse, where audience can control the ship by actually turning the wheel. The CG environment was made with a mix of 2D and 3D assets created in Maya and Photoshop based on our concept art. Arctic creatures such as polar bears, walrus and whales were modeled, rigged and animated in Maya. Ocean was later added in Unity. The ship itself was modeled and textured in Maya based on the blueprints of St. Rock. Hi, I'm Ryan. Uh, among my roles on the project was Chief Carpenter and Wheelwright. Prototyping is a big part of the program here at CDM, but I think we use it to particularly good effect on this project. Um, starting with this little tiny wheel set in this little house, um, right all the way up through a cardboard phase, and then all the way up to this full-scale wooden model. Uh, we use prototyping in a few ways. The first was just, just sort of help us visualize the environment we were, we were developing for. Uh, for example, we built a little cardboard wall that would hopefully help you forget that you were looking at computer screens and make it maybe make you think that you were looking out a window of a ship. Uh, and we also use prototyping to solve problems. Like one of the big questions for us was how fast should the ship go? How responsive should the wheel be? And that was something we had a really difficult time solving until we got people into a real model of the ship and they could really make, see if it felt right. And we also use prototyping you know, just to sort of set the mood and have fun. Uh, right, when, right from one of our very earliest prototypes, we had this sort of bike wheel with these furniture pegs, just so people could get, kind of get a sense, a fun sense of what, what the, uh, the simulation was trying to show. Hi, I'm Juan, uh, one of the developers of the Vancouver Maritime Museum experience. One of the biggest challenges here was to um, actually make things happen and make the dreams come true. So we experimented with various uh, tools to that end. One of them was the Arduino, um, which we used to translate the actual movement of a person, the steering movement, into a signal that would be um, understood by the game engine, so it, it can be uh, played by, by people. Hello, my name is Yui Tran, and I work in the art direction and designing of this project. Uh, because we have two different products at the same time, so my biggest challenge in this project is to create the element and also to make sure that the art direction, photorealistic style, uh, match with uh, both the product. The prototype of the wheelhouse was built to scale, but we felt there was an opportunity to do something that would really complement the experience using a touchscreen. Firstly, we felt there was an untold story of the men who lived under the ship in terms of how they interacted with that space and what the narrative of that story might look like. Secondly, we felt it was a way to provide a point of view of the ship that not normally a large group of people could go and see. The most exciting and challenging part of the project was taking a historical artifact and thinking about how we can make it more exciting and relatable to audiences in a museum space. And what we end up with was a tremendous standalone exhibit that will serve the needs of this museum very well for many, many years to come.